Hello, dear viewer. Um, the last video that you would have seen, just finished painting, and I was able to freely walk around the trailer here on this side. You see that that's not the case anymore, and it is piled with crap. Um, there's been uh, a little progress since the last time you saw. Um, unfortunately, though, that all the videos I had recorded were uh, had a little bit of a, an incident with them. According to some of you in the comment section, this will not be any surprise to you, but uh, I'm an idiot and I left all the videos on my phone that I was recording and it had a problem and all that media is now gone. So uh, I'm just going to take you a little walk around here. What has happened since the last time you've seen, get you caught up and then we can we can proceed from there. Um, all right. So pan up here, you can see have solar panels installed. And I'm just going to tighten that up there. All right. Um, all right, the lights in here are crap. They are flickering horrendously. Uh, it is cold. It's about minus four degrees Celsius in the garage right now. Uh, I don't know what that is in American. It's cold. Um, I actually couldn't get the lights on for a little bit. They had to warm up. So anyways, rambling. I got the solar panels installed. They, uh, that was a real pain in the bottom. Uh, I had essentially uh, get the idea. So the, the way that they work is I, the, essentially the, in here, you got the screw. Basically this comes in through the, all the, um, the panel, the bracket, and then the nut threads on underneath. But uh, I'll move you in closer here to see bees. I'll show you there's in a second. So there's a really small gap between the, uh, the panel and the, and, the, um, and the ceiling of the trailer, or the, the wall of the trailer there. And you can't get your fingers in to, to do that. You actually wind up, um, Ah, I see if I can go from my other camera, see if I took a picture of it with the little uh, contraption I made. And it, it's like every U-joint, uh, universal socket I have, every single extension, uh, plus I also end up going out and buying a 30-inch socket extension and uh, using, uh, cutting up some coat hanger to hold it into like a C kind of shape to basically, so I can reach in and, and get in. But anyways, I'm going to take off the tripod here and we'll... Uh, We'll do a little Blair Witch kind of filming. Let me just take care show you what I'm talking about. So there's the bracket. There's the uh, the uh, screw. And then I've got a little uh, nylon washer there so that the stainless screw is in complete contact with the with the aluminum for that uh, galvanic corrosion. But you can see here, um, it's only about uh, roughly an inch space, two and a half centimeters. It, honestly, it's the thickness of a hockey puck. That's what I was using as the, the spacer for this, but, um, so yeah, trying to get your fingers under there and you can see when you look under, you can kind of make that out, but there's, this is, um, like a C channel here on the, for the solar panel. So you can't, it's not like you can just reach in and bloop. Um, so anyways, that's where I had to kind of reach under there and get those it was a real pain. Um, and there's the, the connectors. Uh, one thing to know is actually having the skylight was made it easier to reach them. But when I was test fitting the, the windows, I realized that these top panels have to come out so that I can get that, uh, get that window in. So that's going to be a joy. I can't wait for that. Uh, what else? We have the power entry done in here. And these again are just uh, stainless steel screws and uh, using a silicone sealant basically around it so that water cannot get in there. But yep, yeah, so there's the, so we're gonna plug in the power for the shore power. Uh, so we've got the outside lights 
And again, those are, uh, the wires themselves are soldered and heat shrunk. Again, I had videos to showing all these steps, but uh, what can you do? So anyways, the, uh, the wires are soldered together, heat shrunk, all nice and neat. And then the screws have sealant on them as well so that water cannot ingress into the wood. Um, so I've got side light and then two on the back and then one on the other side as well. All right, so, and then here of course is the door install. I haven't finished this yet, but um, essentially I've got uh, butyl tape on the other side of this, stuck it to around the, the door. And then these are number eight stainless steel wood screws that are just uh, slammed in there. They're still around the top. There's gonna to be a, uh, um, a drip ring and then there's also the trim pieces, the snap trim that goes in here and then still has to, um, a silicone all the way, or, or sorry, I, I call it silicone, but it's actually uh, an RV, the RV sealant I'm gonna be using here. I'll show you that when it comes, when we actually go to do that. I missed, uh, you see here, I missed a couple spots. Ah, oh, Jesus, camera's just bouncing around here with the light. Um, you see here, I missed, the uh, the butyl. What I was doing for that is just using a small oil, little exacto knife, gently going cutting just through that, not through the finish, and then peeling it off. So we'll 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 clean that up on this side. This is again the side light. The little rings up the top there, up here. Those are for uh, antenna mass mounting. And then this here is the, um, the, the bulkhead. So this is just the connector for the, for the antenna. Just a dust cap that's on it right now. But then that goes in so that can hook up the antenna. Because you know, ham radio, nerds got a nerd. Uh, all right, and then the inside. All uh, right, so we got all the wiring ran. Um, the stuff that's in the ceiling. This is going to be for. Uh, this is going to be for lights. The stuff like the fridge and cooler and all that stuff. I'm just going to run along the walls, and they're going to actually bury it within trim, so you're not going to see that. And plus, I didn't want to really in, uh, destroy the integrity of the the frames as much. Like, I don't want to leave that intact, so um, that's why that is. And I use spray foam insulation to insulate all the way around. And you see that's where the, um, the antenna comes out. And then the ceiling, the, using this, the, the gun, I didn't actually, it's not, uh, it's one of those big, uh, the, using the big cans and you got the, uh, the gun that's got the trigger and you can, you know, stop, start and all that fun stuff. Anyways, uh, it, because the can is inverted, it's upside down, and you have to keep the can almost vertical, or else it just basically just sprays air. I was having a hard time doing the ceiling. I end up finding some leftover, um, uh, what is it, about an inch and a quarter styrofoam that I had from a previous project. So anyways, I just glued that to the ceiling and then just spray foamed around it. So I still have to go through and, and trim the, the, the foam, because you see in a couple spots there where it's, you know, it's got a little overzealous and it's, uh, it's burning out. So, um, yeah, so that's the, you're basically caught up now as to what's gone down. I'm uh, going to be next is this, I'm going to be cleaning up all this foam and then we're going to start doing the paneling. So inside paneling, get that all done, get it ready to put the windows on because um, I do not have a heater in the garage. So that's one reason why it's really cold in here. And it's on the list of things to do, but it's not there yet. So my plan is that once I can get the paneling on here, I will put uh, maybe just some styrofoam um, in the windows here in the empty the, the holes and then close the door and then actually just turn on, you know, the, uh, the halogen lights because that actually heats the space up quite nicely. So um, so I can do that and maybe use that as a heater to, to paint or what I need to do inside here. But, um, yeah, anyways, 
So that's where that's where we're at with this. Uh, a little bit of progress, but it's not finished. Far from it. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't. Well, I say unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately for some, fortunate for others that uh, that all that footage is gone. But oh well. So that's where we're at. And I'll see you in the next video where we actually get some more work done. Thanks for watching.